This is by far the most excited I have ever been for a video on my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you all my favorite products for my classroom from Amazon. My channel guys. I wanted to start off by saying thank you so much to Amazon for sponsoring this video. Anyone who has been watching my channel for pretty much any length of time knows that Amazon and I are like this. We are basically best friends, just Amazon doesn't know it yet. I always love when people watch my videos and they ask me where I got stuff because the answer is Amazon. Like, it's always from Amazon. You guys probably see in my vlogs all the time where I open up my door to go somewhere and there's one of these just sitting on my front porch because I get Amazon deliveries like at least three times a week. And that's just during any normal part of the year during the summer and back to school time, I'm probably getting deliveries like every single day. Especially for back to school shopping, I hate to go to stores because they're always super busy, super crowded with parents and teachers trying to get school supplies. And personally, I would much rather be sitting at home on my couch and just order everything I need. Amazon makes it that much easier because they actually have a back to school storefront right on their homepage where teachers and parents can go on and shop for school supplies that they need. Plus they have all of the products organized a couple of different ways. They do have it organized by grade level so they have a section for pre-k through two they have three through five and so on and they even have it organized by category so if you're looking for electronics you click on one spot or if you're looking for lunch boxes and book bags you can click on another spot they even have a section specifically for teachers which I really appreciate but it's also kind of dangerous because you go on there and you find things that you didn't even know existed five seconds ago and suddenly you have to have them I am really impatient so when I find something and I order it I want it to come really quickly and that's one of the reasons I love Amazon they have super fast shipping and even free shipping on tons of items. Personally, I'm a Prime member, and if you are not a Prime member, I highly suggest you fix that ASAP. It is one of the best investments you can ever make. I get free two-day shipping on over like 50 million items that they have on their website. I actually looked it up because I was curious. My parents and I joined Amazon back in 2003, so we have been using Amazon for well over 10 years. I probably shouldn't admit this, but I actually do most of my shopping right on the Amazon app. I love that you can open it up and you can order whatever it is that you need literally within seconds. I actually just recently ordered one of the Amazon Echo Dots and I personally got mine for my classroom and I'll talk to you guys about that later in the video but apparently you can actually order things on Amazon through Alexa just by talking to her. Welcome to 2017 my friends. I know I went on a little bit of a rant there but honestly it's just because I love Amazon so much. I actually went on and made a list. I think I ended at like 42 items of all of my favorite things that you can get on Amazon for your classroom and I will have the link for that down in the description box. I'm not going to show you guys all 42 items. However, I will show you about 15 items from the list. I tried to pick out things that you guys haven't really seen from me before. I know I've told you guys about my laminator all the time. And while that is on the list, I wanted to show you guys just some different items that you may not have seen before. I also will have individual links to all of the items that I'm mentioning in this video down in the description box. That way it's super easy for you to find what you need. I feel like a little kid on Christmas morning right now. The first item that I love from Amazon are Mr. Sketch scented markers. If you are a teacher and you have never used these before, you need to reevaluate your life. I think the reason I love these so much is because I remember my elementary school teachers using them and I love the way that they smell. So for me, it's just really nostalgic. Plus, I love that they have tons of bright colors. They are perfect for making anchor charts and the smell lasts a pretty long time. And honestly, out of everywhere I've ever found these markers, Amazon always has the best price. The next item that I love from Amazon is this sucker right here. This is by far the best whiteboard eraser I've ever found. I remember my first year of teaching, I had the dinkiest little eraser. It was a piece of crap and it took me so long to erase my entire board. That's why I love this thing right here. It is an extra large eraser from Expo and it cuts down your erasing time in half. And I love the eraser pads on these because it actually has eight layers. So what that means is once it gets really dirty and it's not really usable anymore, you rip off a layer and you have a clean one underneath. Plus, once you go through all eight layers, which for me usually lasts the entire school year, you can actually buy a replacement pad so you don't have to buy the entire eraser again. The next item I love off of Amazon are these answer buzzards. These are a fantastic way to engage your students when you're doing review games like Jeopardy. So this pack comes with four. They each are a different color and they each make a different sound. So there is blue, orange, green, and pink. And each one has a unique sound. That way, if you give one to each group, you can easily tell who buzzed in first. Also something that I love about these is that they are wireless. They don't have to be plugged in. You don't have to worry about cords running across the floor and students tripping. These run off a of battery, so they're super convenient. You also could use them at a small group table. If you're working with a couple students to reteach a topic, it is a fantastic way to motivate them to 
to participate. The next item that I love, and I know I talked about this in one of my videos last week, but it's because I love it that much, is this Exacto electric pencil sharpener. First of all, this one is by far one of the cheapest you will find, and it comes with a 10 year warranty. So if you have any problems, contact the company and they are fantastic with replacing them. This one is actually pretty quiet compared to other electric pencil sharpeners, and the receptacle that holds your pencil shavings is much, much larger than other ones, so you don't have to clean it out as often. Now, I use PowerPoint in my classroom almost every day. I use them to give instructions, I use them to organize my groups, and honestly, they just help to keep me on track as well. So if you use PowerPoints in your room, this is one of the best investments you can make. This right here is a wireless presenter. Now, I personally have the Amazon brand just because I really trust their brand, but this is a lifesaver if you use PowerPoints. I was always having to go up to my computer to click to go to the next slide or have a kid do it, but they were always clicking like five times instead of only once. Or I even used a wireless mouse, but the problem with that is you have to have something like underneath of it. You can't just carry it and click. You always have to put it down on a desk or a clipboard and that was an inconvenience. This thing right here will let you click through your PowerPoint and it's wireless. So it is battery operated. It does have an on off switch so you can switch it off when you're not using it so you don't waste the batteries. But what I love is it actually comes with two AAA batteries and then it runs off of USB. So it comes with the little USB piece that you plug into your computer. I love that it stores right in here so you don't have to worry about losing it and you plug it in and you're good to go within a couple minutes. Then just to operate it, you literally just use the arrow keys on the front. It's super easy and it does have a laser pointer. I would be careful with using it because you don't want to shine it in anyone's eyes. But seriously, best investment you can make for your classroom. And it comes with a carrying case. That was really awkward. <laughs> Now the next product that I love is so simple, but I have no idea what I was doing without one of these for so long. My first couple of years of teaching, I was using a standard staple remover, which is fine for papers, but any teacher knows that they are horrible for getting staples out of the wall, unless the staples like sticking out and you can get a hold of it. Otherwise you're screwed. You're not gonna be able to get the staple out. However, with this little doohickey right here, this is by Bostitch. This is a magnetic staple remover and it's actually made to get the staples out of the wall. So it has this little metal piece right here that's magnetic, you slip it on pop it out. It's so simple. I love that this one does not have sharp edges like a traditional staple remover. I would actually feel comfortable enough giving this to a student and letting them use it. Plus, it's literally only a couple of dollars. The next thing that I love from Amazon are these student grouping pencils. These are very similar to equity sticks if you have ever used those, which basically is a popsicle stick with your students' names on it. You pull out sticks, that way you make sure you're calling on all of your students. However, these are actually made to help put your students into groups, and the reason I love them is because there are so many options. So the pencils come in six different colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, but each one also has a number, one through six, and it also has a shape on it. Here's why I love this. We all know that students try to be clever and they try to get into the same group with their friends, like they'll try to pick the same color stick. They never know how you are going to group them. You could group them by the color, you could group them by the number, you could group them by the shape. So prevent your students from trying to get into groups with certain people. I love that these are plastic, so they will last for several years. Plus this jar comes with 36 of them, so no matter how many students you have, you should be good to go. The the next item I love from Amazon is a headphone splitter. This particular one is by Belkin, and this actually splits it five ways. So you can have up to five students sharing a device with all of their headphones plugged in. Personally, I do not have a lot of devices, and I often have to have my students share, which works out if they have earbuds because they can just each take one of the earbuds. However, most of my students actually had the over-the-ears headphones. I think those are coming back in style now, and they weren't able to share. So this allowed my students to share, but they all had their headphones plugged in. Now, getting them to not fight over who's holding the iPad or who's closest to iPad, totally different story. I personally have my students each bring in a pair of headphones at the beginning of the year because I use them all the time, especially for listening to reading during daily five, and these headphone splitters are a must. The next thing that I love from Amazon are foam dice. My first year teaching, I actually went out to the dollar store and I bought regular dice, put them in containers, and I very quickly found out that it was a horrible idea because my students cannot keep their dice on their table or their desk, and they were flying all over the place, and it was so loud. That's why I love to use foam dice. They are super quiet. I don't even know my students are using them. Plus, I love that these are all yellow because we all know students fight over colors. Even though you tell them you get what you get, you don't throw a fit, doesn't matter. They will still fight over it. So I love that these are all the same. Now the pack that I have came with 36 dice. So personally, I put them into little containers with two in each. That gives me 18 containers and my students are almost always working in partners. So I have more than enough. My next favorite item for my classroom off of Amazon are magnetic letters. Personally, I have six packs of these in my classroom. I keep them on cookie trays just from the dollar store 
drawer and I use them for word work at my small group table. Now you can get magnetic letters for like a dollar at some stores. These are so worth the extra investment and let me tell you guys why. Most of the letters you will find at regular stores, first of all, they're all different colors and second of all, a lot of the letters are not formed correctly. They have like weird little tails on them and it makes our students really confused. These are all blue and red. The constants are blue, the vowels are red and I love that these are all shaped exactly the way I want my students forming their letters. Now this particular pack has 42 letters in it so it has one of each plus it has extras of the letters that you use most frequently. Now this next one you guys have heard me talk about a lot but it's because I love them so much they're my favorite bin. These are the Sterilite clip boxes. There are so many reasons I love these one of which are the clips on the side that help keep the lid in place. I also love that these come in tons of sizes. There are mini ones, small ones, medium ones. These are the large ones and they even have deep ones. Personally I love to use these bins for organizing centers. Any kind of centers, math centers, ELA centers, doesn't matter. They are the perfect size for them. I love the thickness. I love the overall size and you can actually get these in a six pack which is the perfect amount that you would need for your classroom. Honestly I only get these from Amazon anymore because they're super hard to find in stores. Most stores have stopped carrying these ones with the aquarium blue latches and I can only get them from Amazon. I bought a couple of them and then couldn't find them in stores anymore so I had to get them all from Amazon. Now this next item is really simple but honestly I can never find them in stores or at least I can never find enough of them in stores. Book rings. I use book rings for everything in my classroom. Now these come in a 100 pack which actually I go through pretty quickly. These are the three quarter inch size. I either get these or the inch size. I usually don't get much bigger than that because they tend to be too large. However I use these suckers for everything. They're perfect for holding flashcards. They're perfect for attaching labels to any kind of a bin that has like a handle. You can actually hold punch a label, stick it through this, and then hook it onto the bin. You also can use these to make books for your students, especially if your school does not have a binding machine. Personally, when I taught second grade, I used these to make cursive books for my students. So I printed out all the pages, hole punch them, and then just put one of these through each hole. The next item I love from Amazon, you guys can't make fun of me for this, are magnets. Hear me out on this. It actually goes back to my first year of teaching. I had the dinkiest magnets that would not even hold up a piece of paper. Like they would just start sliding down the board and it's so annoying. So I quickly realized I had to invest in good quality magnets that were actually going to stay stuck to the board. Now I love these because they are really, really strong. They actually can hold a lot. You can use them as a regular magnet or you can use the clip to hold up papers or anchor chart paper on your board. Plus I recommend to you getting more magnets than you think you need. My first year of teaching, I had like three magnets, like just three. And and I very quickly found out that that was not enough. So I love that these come in an 18 pack. The next item I'm gonna show you all is actually too big. So I'm gonna hop out of the frame real quick so I can show it to you all. This is called an Iris scrapbooking case cart. And I am so in love with this. First of all, you'll notice these are the same scrapbooking bins that I use for everything in my classroom. I use it to hold read aloud books. I use it to hold my reading curriculum. I use it to hold scholastic magazines, pretty much everything. And I love this cart because it is made to hold these. They fit perfectly. And it even comes with six of these containers which is a steal these alone at a craft store cost like ten dollars each you can get them on sale sometimes for like three for ten but that's usually the cheapest you find them this cart comes with six of them plus the carrier I love that this holds six bins personally that just seems to be the perfect number that way I can actually change them out halfway through the year if I'm using this to hold monthly centers or monthly read aloud books I can have my first six that I need and then halfway through the year I can get the other ones out of the cabinet I can switch them out and I'm ready to go now this cart does come in different colors. This is the white one. It also comes in black. Like I said, these bins come with it and you'll notice in this one, there actually are wheels so you can choose to have it on wheels or you can just put it flat on the ground. And just for a size reference, the top of it lands about halfway up my quad, just so you guys know roughly how tall it is. The last item I'm going to show you all, I won't lie, it's a little bit of a splurge. Personally, I got mine during Prime Day so I did get it at a pretty good discount. But if you are looking for something for your significant other or friends or family to get you as like a back to school gift, this would be perfect. So I just invested in an Amazon Echo Dot for my classroom and I'm so excited because I've seen so many ways to use this. It does seem to be kind of a trend item for this year, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Honestly, sometimes trend items tend to be really beneficial for your classroom. So I'm gonna try it out for a year and see what I think. I'm gonna use it for a couple of different things. First of all, you can play music and I'm a big supporter of having music in your classroom. So I will use it for that. I also can have my students ask Alexa how to spell words because goodness knows 
because when I'm working with another group of students, it is very, very frustrating having students coming up to you to ask how to spell words. This will solve that. Plus, I can actually ask Alexa to pick numbers because I give my students all numbers. That way, if I need to pick a student for something, I can have her pick it so she is the bad one rather than me. Like I said, those are not all of the items. I actually have a list of 42 items. The link for that is down in the description box. And if you all have any other favorite items from Amazon, please leave a comment down below. If you found this video helpful and you are now going on Amazon to buy some stuff, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps me out, it helps my channel out, and it helps the video to be able to reach more teachers. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss any future videos. And you may even want to go to my profile, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you get notifications every time I post a new one. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to think positive and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you want to check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you want to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to all of my social media sites and my Teachers Pay Teacher store are down in the description box. I also have my PO box information there for you and I will catch you guys in the next one.